Hi, I'm Glenn, your instructor for Chemistry 1AL, the General Chemistry Laboratory Online, which is one unit. I'd like to show you a few key features in the syllabus that I've uploaded here. I'm making this as brief as possible. Um, the first thing is this course is going to require you to buy a $25 subscription to latenightlabs.com. If you uh, click on the, uh, the link here that I've made, and you click the sign up button, um, you'll be able to sign up and pay for the $25 version. Now there are two versions, there are two subscriptions. There's the low price one and the high price one. We only want to use the low price one because we're only going to use five lab activities offered by latenightlabs.com. After you buy that, please send me an email, jichung at msmu.edu. Uh, there it is, there's my email address. And the reason for that is I need to give you our class access code so that you can find the exact five lab activities that we'll be using in, um, in that website, in, in that software. Before you do that, however, before you spend the $25, I think it's important for you to verify that your computer can run the other software items that we'll use for our work in the course. And the reason is if your computer cannot run the other software items, then you should probably fix that first. It's important that you know that your computer can do what we need it to do before you continue in the course. Right, so uh, this is the first item that I've got on the syllabus uh, as far as software for our work is concerned. And you should click on that and you should um, test that by moving things around. If you click um, buttons and check boxes and objects and you could and you see that they that some response happens uh, then that's that's a great way to verify that your computer is able to run these things properly here's another one um, build an atom you see i just click around at uh, whatever seems like it should be a button i move things i move whatever seems like it should be something that i should move if i were working on this um, any buttons, you know, I just I just click on them. Some of these are not buttons like that, but that's okay. As long as something moves here, as long as something moves, um, you can you can be pretty sure that uh, your computer is doing its job correctly for this course. Now it's very important to go through all of these links, and the reason is, as you could see, some of these require different plugins for your browser, some, and some of them will. Um, cause a warning message to show up. Now I guarantee that none of these links that I have here in this course uh, will produce advertisements or spyware or viruses for your computer. These are all, um, these are all, oh, here we are. I had to click that again after the file downloaded. So that's a difference between this, this piece of software and the previous two that I tested. So, um, See, I'm moving things around here. Things are moving around. That's great. So just a few clicks are all that is required. So um, it's, uh, these are all, um, all these links are to websites run by education organizations, such as universities or uh, research organizations that produce science activities online. The Concord Consortium is what is not a is not a re university, but it's a science organization that produces uh, content for schools, not just to colleges, but also for high schools. Now here I'm moving this around. I'm not sure if you could see that I'm spinning this pink ball on, on, on in the video, but here you could see the motion more easily because it's larger. And here I'm um, nothing is moving in here, but just because I was able to move this ball, uh, I can. I can be pretty sure that my computer is doing its job properly, okay? I can also choose an answer, and I can click on check an answer. It checks it for me, so that's great. So I'll close that. The last two um, links that I've tried for you use Java. And uh, Java, if, you, if your computer doesn't have it already, needs to be installed by you. Let me click on this. This is also a Java activity. Now here, uh, that that link redirected me to this 
this other link. Now, I already have Java on, on the computer, so I'm not going to spend time downloading Java again. But what I am going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to open that link on some other browser. I'm going to copy this link. I'm going to open it on Firefox. I started um, this video using Google Chrome as the browser. But uh, I really recommend that you use Firefox, especially if, just as you saw me have a problem, especially if you have a problem when you um, click one of these software links. Because Google Chrome doesn't always run every Java um, program seamlessly in the browser, whereas Firefox is more dependable with these things. So here I have the Java activity and in the Firefox browser, and I'm going to test it by moving things around. Now, this particular website is kind of hard to figure out as to how you can move things around, so please watch and do as I do. Here, in the second to last button in the middle, down, uh, I click to get any piece of glassware, any glassware at all. You know, it, it doesn't have to be exactly the glassware that I've used here, but any glassware at all. And then I move any container of material, such as this water jug, to it. And then at the bottom, it says transfer amount. I can put any number there that's lower than the, the volume of the beaker. I click on pour, and I see that stuff has gone into the beaker. So by that, I know that my computer is running this Java program properly. I'll close this. And that was the last um, software that you need to test. Now, I also have you test those and verify that they work in our first quiz, the syllabus quiz. In the syllabus quiz, if you find that your computer cannot run any one of these software items, um, you're going to answer no, and then you're going to get that question wrong. I will fix your grade once you verify, once you fix your computer's um, capability by downloading Java or doing whatever it is you need to do. If you find that you cannot get your computer, no matter what you do, to run one or more of these software items, you should probably not take this class at this time. You should probably take this class at another time when you have access to a computer that will run these software items. Now, um, the other important feature about this syllabus that might not be obvious to you just by reading it quickly is um, services. Uh, there are a lot of services that are available to you through your success coach. I believe that your success coach may also have access to the Mount St. Mary's University IT department, who, uh, which can help you with the, um, with the software items that you need for your computer, such as Java. They will not know anything about the particular websites that I've linked for you um, in the syllabus to test, but they will be able to help you with um, making your computer able to run Java programs or making your computer able to run Flash um, simulations, such as the first one that I ran. If your computer fails on the first um, software item that I linked for you, uh, that, that, that that's something that... Uh, IT folks at Mount St. Mary's University could help you with, and I believe that your success coach can help you to get access to those people. Also, the success coach is very useful if you have any documented disabilities that um, need accommodations in this online course. Uh, your success coach can also help you with uh, advice on how to manage your time. Regarding time management, I have one more comment in this video, and that is if you need an extension on um, any work here, or if you know you're going to be late, just send me an email, please. I'm uh, very open to making this course as accessible as possible by giving you the time that you need to finish the work. Now, I do have one hard deadline, and that's at the end of the course. Um, I need all of your work to be finished by the end of the course because I need to submit your grade. So as long as you don't need an extension beyond something like April 25th, um, I'll be able to work with you, okay? And that's all for this video. Thank you very much.